FreeMMOStation.com. What is up, guys? My name is Medicaid Trulliant here, bringing you another episode of What You Playing for FreeMMOStation.com. This time, we're going to be taking a look at a game called Brawlhalla. It is a 2D brawling game, similar to games like Super Smash Bros. or PlayStation All Stars, if you're familiar with any of those. So. The reason I compare it to those two, which are actually console games, is because there's not really any other PC brawling games that I know of. At least none that are this good. So, this is the main menu. As you can see, there's a few options here. There's online, custom online, and ranked, uh, single player, and couch party. Couch party, I'm assuming, is, uh, well, as that thing said, all local. Because you can have local multiplayer if you have more than one controller for your PC. You can just get a bunch of people together and sit around and play Brawlhalla together. I really like games that have local multiplayer like that where you can use m multiple controllers or your mouse and keyboard combinations and stuff like that. And everybody can just play around and have a good time. And in a similar to, you know, games of the olden days, as if you will. Single player has a tournament style mode, which is you basically, you know, go through a tournament bracket. And, and versus bots is just like it says, versus bots. You hit, can do uh, edit your match settings like you could in an online custom match. So you could have test maps and stuff like that. Then you have online where you just randomly join free for all matches as your, as your selected character. It will have four players. You have your custom online, which is just like single player, but you can make a game or join a game. Oh, and now watch a game, which is also a couple of new features, actually. The last time I uh, played this game was, I mean, it's been a little bit, but they didn't have the join game and watch game. So let's see what join game is real quick. Oh, wait, they did have the join game. Never mind. You join it by room number. So you have to know somebody's room number to join their game. So you can't go and like choose from a list. And then you could make a game or watch a game. I'm assuming th those should be f relatively uh, similar. Then you have ranked matches, which are one versus one or two versus two. So you can also join a ranked game, which works the same way as joining a game on a custom match. Anyways, enough about the menu since I've already spent a couple minutes here. Let's actually get into some gameplay. So let's go to online here first. Uh, there are, how many characters is there now? One, two, three, four, five, nine here, six, nine, six, fifteen characters. Fifteen characters here. Uh, Bryn is the newest character. I have no experience with her at all. My two favorite characters are Taros and Hattori. But I also like to use uh, Orion. Yes, Orion. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Orion and Bodvar on occasion. Uh, a lot of people use Thatch, and a lot of other people seem to use Sentinel and uh, Bodvar as well. So these three guys right, oops, these three guys right here, Sentinel, Thatch, and Bodvar are pretty much the most popular characters I've seen online. Anyways, let's go to Teros, and we're going to play a match as him real quick, so let's get into some gameplay. So you have, this, this isn't an actual match, that was a, a loading screen there, but you can beat people up. I think it's just the bots. You can beat the bots up while you're waiting for a match. Uh, there's four buttons that basically control the entire game. You have a light attack, a heavy attack, you have a throw button, which uh, as soon as you pick something up, you can throw it with the right, uh, I'm using a controller by the way. So, you, so in my case, the throw button is the right button on an Xbox controller. And then you also have a dodge button, which is like that. That is your right trigger on the Xbox controller. So those are the only four buttons that control the gameplay, with the, with the exception being, you know, the directional pad as well. But that's pretty much it. I mean, you just got to learn how to master the way everything works, you know, kind of learn the timing of your character's weapons. For example, um, I know that Taros is a heavy hitter, so anything I want to do anything I want to do with him needs to happen like a quarter of a second before I actually want it to happen I need to actually press the button a quarter of a second before I actually want it to happen sometimes not even that much really a quarter of a second might be a little bit dramatic there but you get the drift it's, it's not a huge delay but there needs to be a slight delay between 
me pressing the button and when I actually want something to happen just because it takes a few frames for a move to actually do what I want it to do for a move to happen especially when you're using heavy hitters like Taros and then of course you have characters like Hattori which is my other favorite character to use which is that green chick running right there did I just die twice where am I at oh shoot I'm not even paying attention to myself here Hattori is a light hitter. Both of her weapons are light. Okay, so she uses a sword and a spear. So everything she does is quick, and she doesn't hit very hard, but she's very fast. And Taros is pretty much the exact opposite. Like He doesn't move very fast, but he hits pretty hard. As you can see there, uh, a lot of the weapons have similar fighting styles. So... Like, all the spear users are going to have a similar move set, with the exception of their heavy attacks. And the same thing for, like, hammers and, you know, pr anything like swords, hammers, swords, anything like that. They're all going to have very similar move sets, but a lot of their heavy attacks are going to be completely different. So it's really just a personal preference. You know, what it comes down to is what character uses the two weapons you like the best, basically. Like if you want, if you like the sword and the spear the best, then Hatori needs to be your character because that's what she uses. <clears throat> and all the characters have different weapon combinations. They all use two two weapons, but they all, all play with those weapons a little differently. Like Bodvar, for example, for uh, sorry, I can't even talk. Bodvar, for example, uses the sword and hammer combination. So I do like the hammer quite a bit. And I also like the sword, so Bodvar is another character I like to use sometimes, but he's not one of my, one of the main guys I use. Like, I like Taros a lot, and I like, um, Hattori. Sorry, I had a, it's really hard to concentrate on what I'm doing and try to explain everything at the same time. Especially in a fast-paced game like this, which, oh my gosh. Brawlhalla is a very fast game. So who knocked Hattori out? Or did she suicide? Which put me in first place. Oh. Orion is in first now. Ooh. There we go. Oh, wait. No, Orion wasn't in first place. Never mind. I still won, though. So there's an example of me winning. I don't know how I did that. Um, maybe just everybody else wasn't very good or everybody was kind of on their off game. I generally don't do well when I'm commentating and playing a game. So I always get comments like, oh, God, you suck at this game. And it's just like, well, I'm trying to talk and explain to you the mechanics of how things work. I mean, I can't expect to be pro while commentating. So let's do uh So that I've shown you how online works. Uh, I could set up a custom a custom match. Uh, there's actually a couple different game modes as well, and it usually takes a while for a custom match to uh, go through, so I'll just show you real quick single player versus bots. So if you press select here, you can change the difficulty of a bot. I want to set everything to hard, because hard is the closest you'll get to an online match. Hattori is pretty good for the modes I'm about to show you. Whoops, I need to change the modes here. now. As you can see up here, these are your game modes, okay? So you have your timed mode, which is the default mode that you just saw me playing. Then you have stock mode, where everybody has a certain amount of lives. Um, then you have brawl ball, which is inspired by football, but not exactly like football. Uh, basically, it's everybody needs to grab the ball and go make a goal. You can't throw it into the goal. So everybody needs to go make a touchdown. So I'll show you a quick match here with Brawl Ball since it doesn't generally take that long. And then I'll also show you Bomb Skip Ball, which is pretty fun. You throw bombs all across the match and you just basically have to make the, the bomb hit the target. Oh. Ah, get the ball, get the ball. There we go. If you uh, hit somebody while they're carrying the ball, they drop the ball. And you cannot attack while you're holding the ball. This is the goal here, and you basically just run there and have to make it into that goal. 
So if you make it into somebody else's goal, as you can see, it starts off on their side of the field for the second match. The AI generally isn't very good at holding the ball, so another thing you should uh, have probably, well, not you should have, but another thing that is pretty obvious there is uh, these little things here. Only your teammates can go through these. So if you're on the opposing team, you cannot go through that little barrier there. You have to jump over it and make it into the goal. So I can see that's how Brawl Ball works. I mean, that's that's about it. The entire point is to get the ball and carry it into the goal. That's it. That's all there is to it. So I will actually exit out of this match. And I'll show you Bomb Skip Ball since it is also a, just a quick match that I can go over real quick before I moved on to playing a couple of ranked matches. So see those little targets hovering at the uh, edges of the map? You have to throw bombs at those targets. Just like that. And basically, uh, they're, they're, it's just two minutes of your team throwing things into that target there. As you can see, I've already made two goals, and that is literally all there is to it. Of course, you can jump up in the air and catch the bombs from your enemies. Uh, the bombs also explode on impact when you throw them at enemies. See? Uh, that guy over there actually caught that one. But yeah, that's the general idea here. And bombs just keep spawning in and you have to throw them. That is all there is to it. Oops, threw it in the wrong direction though. See, if you throw it in the wrong direction, it's generally not a good idea. Ah, oh, how did it catch that? Ah. It's really difficult if you don't know where to throw it from. And they just keep catching them. I'm not very good at catching bombs, but I'm fairly decent at throwing them. See? I've already got three. I already got three. Anyways. So, yeah. That's it for Brawl Ball. They're pretty fun. I could imagine they'd be a lot more fun online, but it just takes... It takes longer than I would like it to for a custom online match. So, I'm just, I just wanted to show you those two game modes in single player real quick. Now let's move on to ranked matches. I'm going to do one versus one here because I have yet to play two versus two and I really don't want to jump in with randoms. So um, I'm going to play as Taros again. And I'll just play a, a match real quick and just show you what the ranked ladder is like. This guy doesn't have a ranked, which means he is within his first five matches still before he gets placed in the ladder. I want to see if he's actually played a match before, if he knows anything about what he's doing. Because, I mean, you could have a different account playing a different match. Or a different account playing matches and stuff. Maybe he got good in the single player. I mean, you can never... You never want to underestimate some your opponent. Especially in a ranked match. This guy just seems to be spamming what he does in the uh, free-for-all matches, which generally will not fly here so let me just kind of show him well he might actually beat me with his little spam tactics ah my gosh well yeah he's not very he's not he's not the greatest but I mean he has done a lot of damage to me I have to give him credit for that can't say he doesn't know what he's doing and he may end up beating me which would be very very sad for me yeah he hasn't quite grasped the concept of one versus one combat which is a lot of dodging <laughs> is basically the secret to one versus one combat a lot of dodging
He really likes his little uh, motorized spear there, doesn't he? Ah, oh, I missed that weapon. I was kind of hoping I'd grab it in time, but... Anyways, so there's that. Uh, I think I got time for one more match real quick. So I've explained pretty much everything there is uh, to know about this game. Really, a lot of it's just going to be personal experience. I just say jump in and play. There's not really a lot you can do wrong here when you play this game. I mean, the game is incredibly fun. There's a reason I've put so many hours into this game. <clears throat> as it stands when I generally don't put a lot of hours into the games I play but uh... just because I'm so limited on time too like I'll play a game for maybe 10 hours or so and that's it but I mean I've got about 30 hours into this game which is and when it comes to me I, I think that's pretty good and I can just see my... I still play it, like, almost every day. If not every day, a couple times a week for sure. Just because I enjoy this game so much. I mean, it's very fast-paced. It's real easy to jump into. I mean, there's not, there's not a lot of mechanics that you need to learn before you can actually start being competitive. Ooh, another Taros player. Let's see how good he is. That match took a while to load, actually. <laughs> I knocked him into that bomb there. Ooh. This guy seems to have, have a little bit of class here. Seems to know a little bit about what he's doing. Pretty sure it gets to a point where people stop uh, throwing all the items they can find at you. I'll let him have that weapon. Alright. Like it when matches do this. Ah. He got me. Let's see if I can get him with this one. Ooh, that's it. That's game right there. Good, good, good game. Good game. I still lost. Anyways, all right, guys. Well, that's about it for this video. Uh, hope you enjoy it.
if you like this video and you want to try out Valhalla, there's a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Free Remote Station. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.